What's up boys, Shane here, and today I want to talk about Battlefield 5 and how the Pacific Theater is coming to this game this fall. So we got the announcement of three maps coming to the Pacific Theater. Um, the Pacific Theater, as DICE says in this uh, article, has been a part of the Battlefield DNA ever since the game-changing debut of Battlefield 1942. Now we're crafting the ultimate reimagining of the conflict. As the US and Japan enter the fight, expect additional maps including a modern take on the absolute Battlefield classic Iwo Jima. So this is a remake from, I believe, Battlefield 1942. Um, you'll be able to use amphibious units to pummel the war-ridden shores and an expanded arsenal to rouse your squad to victory. We have a lot more to share about the Pacific Theater, Chapter 5 and Chapter 4, Defying the Odds. Battlefield 5 keeps evolving. We look forward to continuing the journey with you. Um, now, the gameplay in the background is on the new map, Mercury. I actually finally hopped onto Battlefield 5 to play this map. It was pretty fun. I had a really good time. I went like 43. 3 and 8 or 42 and 8 or something to lead my squad in this domination game. Um, I also have some highlights from a TDM match as well. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about how Battlefield 5 is looking a lot more up. In my last video I talked about how Operation Metro is coming. Um, it's called like Operation Underground or something like that. Um, that's coming this fall as well. And there just seems to be a lot going on in this game. Um, I personally am not going to play it or grind it too much yet. I don't really know if I'm ever going to grind this game as much. I'm not too into Battlefields, but I do have fun hopping on here and there for a couple hours just to uh, shoot some stuff because I do f find the gunplay in this game uh, really um, just good. I find the gunplay really tight. I like it a lot better than Battlefield 1's personally. It was just the maps were pretty dull and there wasn't really too much engaging uh, World War II content in the game. But if we get some really cool grand operations coming um, for the Pacific Theater, I would definitely hop on and grind this game. Um, that would be super fun. I just picture just storming the beaches and stuff like that in the Pacific Theater um, and just a really awesome grand operation over Iwo Jima. Um, I hope we get some more naval combat because there really isn't much at all in this game um, and World War II typically had a ton, uh, quite a bit of naval co uh, combat. It was kind of odd that Battlefield 1, the game set in World War 1, had more naval combat and a more focus on naval combat than this game does. Um, I've always loved naval combat in Battlefield. Naval Strike was one of my favorite DLCs ever um, back in Battlefield 4. And I do hope we get that in some sense in this game. Um, yeah, I don't think at EA Play we're going to get any announcement of a new Battlefield game. There are some rumors that we're going to get an announcement of Bad Company 2 Remastered, but I'm really not sure about that. Um, I'm j I just think we're going to get some more gameplay of the new content coming to Battlefield 5, and then some content for other games as well. Uh, tell me you guys think about this down below in the comment section. The Pacific Theater has three confirmed maps already. It's going to be coming, and I quote, before 2020. So that likely means December. Um, I know DICE uh, kind of does that sort of thing where they say before a certain time. and It's usually right before that time. Um, so hopefully we see it in November, but I'm leaning towards December uh, with the wording of the announcement. But again, boys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new here. That's right for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.